Hi there, Fibrin Krause here from the Ghana Revenue Authority. This week, we'll be talking about the Ghana Revenue Authority's integrated regional tax offices in New Amsterdam and the services offered to the Tongue and the wider Region 6, East Burbis Quarantine. We'll also be taking you over to Region 5, Mahaika Burbis, at the location where a new office is under construction at Onvawa. This is where Focus on GRA begins. A liability certificate is typically requested when applying to other agencies for specific services offered, such as pension benefits, gratuity, small business bureau, firearm license, etc. Simply complete the liability application form and submit it to the liability desk at any GRA office. You must indicate the purpose of your application. You should receive your liability statement within two to four working days if there are no outstanding tax returns or taxes owed. Applying for a liability certificate is free of cost. GRA, your partner in development. Kevin, like, like, like you're going far and by? Far and by, right in Josh, and I go in. I got to go and get my driver's license. <laughs> hey, like you get them buzzing here, oh buddy. You mean by the time you left for the integrated regional tax office that are right around the corner, forgot to tilt to Georgetown? Living out of Georgetown? Don't let the prospect of getting your license drive you crazy. The Guyana Revenue Authority has integrated regional tax offices in Perica, Anna Regina, New Amsterdam, Carriverton, Bartica, Linden, and Lethem, equipped to process applications for the plastic card ID type driver's licenses. If you have a cardboard cover or a red book license, don't stress. You can easily get it for renewed at any of our regional offices. GRE, your partner in development. Welcome to Focus on GRE. This is a program of information for taxpayer education. Now, it's been two years since the Ghana Revenue Authority's integrated regional tax office in Burbies relocated to a new building in the town of New Amsterdam. The move is in keeping with the initiative to expand and improve the delivery of decentralized services throughout the length and breadth of Guyana. You will hear about the list of tax services offered at this location and the team of officers administering the tax laws in the region. Since embarking on a major expansion service delivery program that includes general upgrades and planned construction of regional offices, the Ghana Revenue Authority has made significant strides. A product of this endeavor is the move to the New Amsterdam Integrated Regional Tax Office from an old cramped building at Strand to a new modern facility at Ferry Street and Esplanade Road in March 2020. The new building comes with a canteen, taxpayers waiting area, and well-spaced departments to deliver services to taxpayers. Nadine King is currently the office manager. There are lots of services offered at this branch. On the eastern side, we have the license department. On the western side, we have tin and estate. And we also have the debt management division and cashiers. On the upper floor, we have the compliance section and audit section and MIR. We offer liabilities. We have different types of liabilities. We have firearms, small business bureau, gratuity, pension scheme, work permit. We also offer withholding tax exemption for the elderly. Once you're 60 and above, you can apply for your withholding tax exemption at GRA. Persons applying for an estate duty it's now called processing fees. Um, it's also um, persons would have to come um, to the office here with the documents prepared by a lawyer. If you have all the requirements filled, we accept the application and send it in for processing. I also um, look after this see over the, um, the TIN department. It's a cost of $1,000. In the case that we're as persons now applying for a reprint, um, it's just a copy of the ID or passport, and the cost is $2,000.
Recently, the office added provisional license to its list of services, becoming the first of the eight integrated regional tax offices to do so. We recently started doing provisional advantages. For those who don't know, the requirement is to pass a size photograph, you fill out your application form, you come with your driver's license, or if you're a new, new applicant, then you come with your pass paper from the station. Since the provisional license was introduced to the New Amsterdam Tax Office on August 16, 2022, 433 applications were processed and 361 issued as of October 17, 2022. The provisional license is valid for three months and can only be renewed twice. It does not qualify the licensee as a driver, but is issued on a temporary basis for the purpose of driving under supervision and to conduct the practical driving exam by the Ghana Police Force before issuance of the driver's license. Taxpayers for the provisional license and other license related to motor vehicles would first assemble in the outside waiting area at the New Amsterdam office. These are the documents required when applying for a driver's license. For driver's license, the requirements is one passport size photograph, a copy of all the pages in your red book, or if you're old of a car license, you just come with the car license, your ID, and that's it. Um, we do also TML license, which is for shops. The requirement is the business registration, the sanitary ID, TIN, and the last license. For new applicants, you come with your approved plan letter from Central Housing, the business registration, the sanitary, the file and pictures of the building. Despite the difference in the waiting time for the service at the regional office, as opposed to Georgetown, taxpayers are urged to use the services offered at their closest location in order to save on travel and time transaction costs. In addition to driver's license, the New Amsterdam Integrated Regional Tax Office receives a majority of applications for mortgage interest relief, a tax rebate to Guyanese first-time homeowners with a mortgage of not more than $30 million. In order to qualify for MIR, there are certain criteria that need to be met before you come in, which is according to the Section 20A of the Income Tax Act. So that is that the loan must not exceed $30 million. Secondly, that the mortgage that are taken is for either the construction of a residential building, the purchase of a, a land for construction of a residential building, or the acquisition of a residential building. And the documents that you would need to come in, once you realize that you met those two criteria stated before, are you have to get the MIR application form, which we term as a form one. The bank will provide to you four documents, and these are the form two, the schedule of interest, the loan agreement, and a certified copy of the title or transport. You will also bring in four pictures of the property, that is the front, the two sides, and the back. And you must ensure that all your tax returns are submitted within the last eight years. In addition, we request for a copy of uh, identification, whether it be your ID card or passport, a copy of your TIN. Not necessarily, but if you have that, you can bring that in as well. So once you're give, uh, you bring in those documents to us, we then will uh, verify, vet the documents according to our system to ensure that everything is up to date and we accept same. The Burbys County is well positioned to become a centerpiece for growth and development. This promise is already evident in places like the commercially active Strand area in New Amsterdam and the private sector's representation at the recently held Burbys Expo at which Guyana's head of state, Dr. Mohamed Irfan Ali, announced that an oil refinery will be constructed in Region 6. In this respect, the regional office, through its audit department, works to ensure that businesses are in compliance with their obligations under Guyana's tax laws. Our uh, responsibility is to review uh, taxpayers' financial statements that they submit in their returns to the GRA. Uh, we encourage that taxpayers um, submit all of their returns on a yearly basis as, they're, as they are due. Uh, some of the tax types that we review are income tax, property tax, and VAT. Uh, 
what I would like to say to all taxpayers is that they are encouraged to maintain records. And this is in accordance with the Income Tax Act, which we follow. Uh, they are required to um, maintain records for at least eight years. And those records entails all their sales, all of their expenses, because these are the records that they need to prepare their financial statements for submission to the GRA. We issue letters for non-submission of returns and non-payment of taxes. We also deal with payment plans and waivers of penalties and interest. As such, I encourage each taxpayer to ensure that they file their return on time and pay their taxes due to avoid receiving any letters from the GRA. As part of its audit functions, officers would carry out routine inspection of businesses in the town and wider Region 6 to ensure compliance, particularly with license and VAT registration. Advice to taxpayers who are operating without license is to get your requirements and come into the GRA so that you can be granted your license. Because failure to do so when visits are being conducted and you have illegal stuff such as liquor that you don't have license for, the enforcement division usually seizes your stuff. So our advice to you is to come in and get your stuff done. With the anticipated economic growth in Region 6, the old tax office at Strand in New Amsterdam is being retrofitted to house a regional law enforcement and investigation division office. The new office joins the list of other integrated regional tax offices that have benefited from upgrades and renovations in recent years. Meanwhile, land has been allocated in other areas for construction of new offices. Among them is Onverwacht, Region 5, Mahaika Burbis, where construction of an integrated regional tax office is already underway. The Ghana Revenue Authority is constructing a new integrated regional tax office at Onverwacht on the west coast of Burbis. And this is in keeping with its mandate to offer all of its services to stakeholders in all regions of Guyana. Construction started in March 2022 and is slated for completion by December of 2023. This new office will expand the GRA's reach to taxpayers in Region 5 and will be a full-service tax office, thereby allowing stakeholders within the region to access all services that are now available at the head offices in Georgetown. This means that taxpayers will no longer have to travel to New Amsterdam or to Georgetown to make payments of all taxes to apply for their compliance and liabilities, license and motor vehicle registration, as well as collection of tax returns. This will undoubtedly reduce the processing time and the completion of transactions, as well as decrease congestions at the GRA's main office in Georgetown, which averages roughly 300,000 taxpayers who visit on a yearly basis. The office will also open employment opportunities for qualified persons in the region, allowing them to build their careers in taxation. GRA presently operates at eight established integrated regional tax offices, most of which offer services available at its head office in Georgetown. You would recall that the GRA opens its doors to the Mabaruma Integrated Regional Tax Office in 2019 and it's expected to commence construction of its Madia Regional Office during 2023 and to maintain a presence at Ittering Bank, thereby providing its essential services to every region in Guyana. Now, the GRA is committed to ensuring that its services are delivered efficiently to stakeholders as Guyana's economic landscape continues to transform. And that's all the time we have for this week's Focus on GRA. But for more information, you can visit our website, gra.gov.gy, or you can send us your inquiries via email, grapublicrelations at gmail.com, and we'll be quick to respond to you. Don't forget to follow us on our social media pages for up-to-date tax-related information. Thank you for watching. I am Fabian Krause. Take good care of yourselves and each other.